baby girl's bag, probably the moment you've been all waiting for. <laughs> part of this whole experience is the baby thing so let's get right into it so I decided to pack all of her things into her diaper bag it's just this fun design diaper bag here I'm obsessed with it I'm actually working on a video to show you guys all the reasons why I love it and why I decided to go with it so stay tuned for that video but without further ado let's show you what I'm bringing for baby girl so the first thing I'm gonna do is just go around on the outside pockets and show you what I'm bringing in those starting with the back one so there's a little hidden pocket here and the thing that I decided to put in there is just her car seat cover. Um, I can link this one down below. I think I got it from Amazon. If you're looking for a car seat cover, they have many different styles and designs. It's stretchy, breathable, and highly recommended by a couple of my friends. Then there's also a pocket right here that has a zipper. And in this pocket, my husband and I actually just printed out this sign, which we saw in another video and thought it was a clever idea because we are giving birth in a city and a lot of places in the city you have to pay for parking so we wrote wife and labor just in case for whatever reason something happens and we're unable to pay until later so we don't get ticketed so if you're giving birth in a city that's possibly something you can do as well moving along to the front pockets this pocket here actually has nothing so then the front here just has her sign her baby on board sign now i'm also bringing purell i know we're going to hospital and there's going to be a lot of purell everywhere but this is her diaper bag and i just want to be prepared uh, and just make sure my hands are sanitized if I'm touching her or her things. So that's gonna be in the front pocket here. And then the last and final items in here are just my Apple headphones. Because they're small and they get tangled easily, I decided to just keep them in her bag and they're just like readily accessible here. And a pen for signing documents. Okay, and so then the last pocket here just has a couple breast pads. These are the Lancelin breast pads. I decided to put a couple of my uh, breastfeeding essentials in her bag just because I am breastfeeding her and I kind of didn't have room in my other roll on bag. And this um, rolled up kind of garbage bag for soiled diapers in case, you know, in the future we go somewhere, it's just already ready in the diaper bag for me. So moving right along into the actual bucket compartment. On the very top, I was highly recommended to bring a breast pump. So I just packed a breast pump into one of these baggies that I've received as a gift before, as like a gift with purchase before a long time ago. And it just fit. I have my Medela swing in here. It's just like the one-sided breast pump that plugs into the wall. I actually heard that a friend of a friend of mine just gave birth and her milk came in fast and hard and strong and she couldn't get relief. She felt very engorged and because of you know what's going on in the world, all the stores nearby the hospital were closed and she actually gave birth at my hospital. So the store that sells breast pump parts was closed so she couldn't even give herself relief and she was in so much pain. They did provide her the pump from what I understood but they couldn't give her the parts and she wasn't able to get the parts because the store was closed. So she was honestly in so much pain so my friend just said bring a breast pump just in case. So that's what I'm doing. Then directly under that I have my Medela breast shields. I actually have pretty flat nipples so if she can't latch, I will use these. I don't know if I'm allowed to use these right away. I will consult with their lactation or their nurse on site about this, but I actually heard some people bring those as well and it's been quite helpful for them. So I'm actually bringing her three types of blankets. I have one kind of like this Muslim cotton, I think it's Aiden and an I, yep, this Aiden and an I Muslim cotton one that is super breathable and lightweight. I have a copper and pearl one later on in there and then a thicker one in case it's really cold. So up next, bows. <laughs> You guys are gonna think I'm crazy. Everyone calls me crazy in my family because I have like 60 bows for her But I've wanted a girl for so long and I was so excited to like play dress up and dress her up and just make her look cute And it has to start at the hospital. So bow number one bow number two bow number three and bow number four <laughs> and the black is because Oleg's announcement picture is uh matching his hat which i showed you earlier so i can't really sh explain too much because it's a surprise but she'll either wear black or white for his announcement photo and she'll either wear lavender or pink for my photo so that's why there's four bows okay don't judge i'm cray when it comes to bows so in terms of onesies i decided to only bring three i honestly heard that you don't even dress them you just keep them swaddled the whole time because you're doing so much skin to skin but one of which is oleg's announcement picture onesie 
which we ordered from Zazzle and has like a slogan here that matches this hat. One is Petit Lem. It's like truly newborn. It's really tiny. And then the last one is just an H&M one that has these little straps and three hearts on the front. These actually came in a pack of five, which I found was cool. I hope she fits into newborn because I think this is newborn. So hopefully she fits in this. I actually dried it and it shrunk as well. So my sister-in-law said, don't dry baby clothing or buy bigger and then dry. So up next is her going home outfit. And it is a little onesie with a skirt from Spearmint Love. And the reason it's watermelon, if you know me, I have been craving watermelon like a crazy person my whole pregnancy and I can literally finish a whole watermelon to myself in a day. So she's my little watermelon. Next, I am bringing her two full on rompers. Is that what they're called? Rompers with the buttons. People have said don't buy buttons for newborns, but I just found it so cute. This is by the brand Petite Lem. They had a really great sale um, back in March or April and I just took advantage. So I got that one and I got this peach one, which actually confuses me. So this is newborn and it's Petite Lamb, the same brand as this. And for some reason, the sizing is super off. Like, how is that possible? Anyway, so I figured if she doesn't fit into this one, she's bound to fit into that one, right? Because maybe they mislabeled this. It's supposed to be zero to three, maybe. So then I also packed myself the Mama Earth Organic Nipple Butter and Anyone I ask, they say this is the most incredible stuff in the world. This is the only stuff that helped them with their cracked nipples. So I'm bringing this right to the hospital. And actually a couple people recommended I start using that earlier, like before she's born, like much earlier, but I haven't done that. So. so next I have her little swaddle, announcement swaddle, which is by Copper and Pearl, which matches my robe that I showed you guys earlier in the video. And it's just this little hat and swaddle. And then as I mentioned before, I'm also bringing her a thicker type of blanket just in case it's really cold in the hospital. Or if not, this is going underneath her into the bassinet and she'll be on top of it for the announcement picture. So dual purpose for this guy here. And then the final thing in the very bottom in the middle is just this little wooden board that I got from Etsy. I actually struggled for a while trying to find someone who can do it in Canada, but then I finally found this girl and she's really incredible. I'll link her down below as well. And I was able to have her engrave her name here on the top. And then you can also add the date, time, weight, and length to this little board, which reminds me, I should bring a um, Sharpie because pen wouldn't really probably look good. Yeah, I need a Sharpie. So that's pretty much it for the bulk of the bag. Now I'm gonna do the pockets on the inside and it's fairly simple. I just have a little um, cloth. What is it, a cotton cloth in case she spits up on the way home or something like that or for whatever else that's needed. So I'll just keep it there for her. Um, two pairs of newborn socks in that pocket. And I also have a wet dry bag. So in the future, if we go somewhere and she soils her clothes, I just got this Bunkins uh, wet dry bag from well.ca. So if you're looking for one, they have a lot of different styles. They're pretty cute and soft, which I never expected. I thought they'd be more like rubbery. And I also on this side packed a reusable change pad just because in the future, if we go somewhere and it's really gross to put her down, to put her actual change pad down because it's like light in color and I don't want to ruin it. I can always put this one down before and change her like that. And then the last and final thing in this bag is just her change pad, wipes and diapers. So this is a change pad I got from well.ca. This is the Lasig um, change pad that came in like a little pouch. I can link it here for you guys. I just decided to take it out and put it in her bag like that because I don't need the whole pouch yet. Maybe when she's older and I just need that pouch alone, I'll use that separately. And then, and then I also decided to bring her five diapers. I don't know if it's enough. I'm gonna have to do more research on that. I'm not quite sure, but three honest diapers and three something else brand diapers that I actually don't know what they are. And that's pretty much it for her bag. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, always be yourself, be selfless, and never settle for less. See you next week. Bye.